Hi there, welcome back. My wife and I recently took two of our oldest grandchildren up to Marietta, Ohio, where sitting there in port was the uh, was the LST 235. LST stands for, for those of you who don't know, LST stands for landing ship tank. The LST was one of the vessels that they used on D-Day when we raided uh, the beaches of Normandy. The LST carried the Higgins boats. The LST car carried troops. It carried equipment. And they often carried uh, personnel in the Higgins boats, which the uh, armed military personnel would climb down into the Higgins boats alongside the vessel. And that would continue its way into the shores there at, uh, at Omaha Beach. The Higgins boats which were which had a couple of them on this uh, LST when it came into the dock here at Marietta. It had some of the Higgins boats, which was what the military personnel filed into. You actually saw uh, sort of an example of it in Saving Private Ryan, where they climbed in these boats, and those are the ones that brought them actually to the beachheads in the front loading chute drop down, and the troops charged the beaches and stormed those guns of the of the Atlantic Wall that Hitler had built to stop the Allies, and it was uh, it was fascinating to see one of those. Uh, LST was much bigger than I really thought it would be. It was quite an experience to be walking on that ship and knowing you're standing on just a small part of American history. That LST was actually used that day in the landings uh, at Normandy in uh, June 6, 1944, where the Americans landed at Omaha and uh, Utah Beach that day. Approximately 2,500 Americans died that day uh, storming those beaches, but a lot of Americans a lot of Americans died that day attacking those beaches. Fact is, it was such a, an eventful uh, time that General Dwight D. Eisenhower, who was the uh, commander of the Allied forces, he actually prepared a statement to be uh, given to the media here in America if we failed that day in, in our attempt. A lot of things worked for our advantage that day. I tend to believe, and some people believe that that the Lord smiled upon us in that battle. Yes, it was a loss of life, but not nearly what it could have been and, and might have been had things went differently that day. And uh, maybe the uh, the Germans hadn't hesitated to contact Hitler. And uh, Rommel, he was all somewhere celebrating a birthday with uh, family, uh, somebody else's birthday with family, I believe. And so they couldn't get a hold of him that day. So uh, a massive counterattack was not was not started that day, which might have uh, repelled the uh, incoming troops. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. But uh, America lost a lot of precious life on the beach that day. A lot of blood was spilled, and a lot of fine Americans fell. And fortunately, though, we came out on top, and we started our march to end Hitler's domination in Europe. Well, anyway, we had a good time that day, and uh, it just—it was just fun to share that little bit with the kids. When you walk on that ship, you know you're touching history, and you know what that ship meant, and you know what the people that walked upon it—you know what they did. 
And it's extraordinary to me the courage that they showed under fire and, and so many of them perished. And good people never came back home to their families and their mothers that, that day. And it's sad what happened, but we succeeded on June 6, 1944. And it was just great to uh, be on that boat and get to experience and touch a little bit of history uh, right there and walk upon it. I promised you I was going to start a little segment called Did You Know? And this this week, I'll present one. Last time I was here, I talked about how Bat Masterson, many of you have seen uh, the show Gene Barry that portrayed his life. I mentioned that he was uh, he wasn't even from America. He was born in Canada and became a uh, became a figure out west, a well known figure. Many of you may not know that Bat Masterson later in life he went to New York City and became a sports reporter, writing for a newspaper there. Well, Bat Masterson did that for several years. Bat didn't die with his boots on, but he did die with his shoes on. There at his typewriter, and it's believed he had a heart attack, and that's how Bat Masterson met his end. No, it wasn't on a dusty street in the Old West. It was in a New York City in an office at his desk, typing on a typewriter. <laughs> what a way for a man like that to go. Well, anyway, that's our little lesson for this week. If you uh, enjoy these videos and you uh, want to hear more of them, I ask you to hit like and subscribe and uh, come back again the next time. Thank you very much. I'll talk to you later. Bye now.